Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 9 of this series. So in this session, we are going to look at joins, data transformations and how to do cross tabling of the data. So let's switch to Click View Desktop. So I'm going to create two new tables using Click Views inline functionality. So let's create a new document and then save it with the name data transformations. Right. So for creating an inline table, we have to go to edit script where I'll be creating a first table. Let's take table one. So in this load star in line. And remember, there should be a space in between the inline and uh, the square bracket. And then type the field names. So uh, first one is ID. Okay. And the one is some value. Okay. So I have one, three, four. Sorry. One, three and five or ids and there is corresponding values are a c e right likewise i'll be creating one more table so table table two load star in line and then I'll be having ID and then EATT or a pattern so I have ID 1 and the pattern is AAA and ID 5 and the pattern is E E E A A. So now we close the table. So let's save this document and reload. So even though we are creating the table in line, the data will not be available in the RAM as we haven't reloaded the document. Once we have reloaded the document, it will create if the table is created within the um, click view script, or else it will load the data. If the data is fetching, I mean data that we are fetching from uh, any any data sources. Okay, let's reload it. So we have reloaded. Let's go to tabular view, control T, and then C. So there, there are two tables that are loaded, and they are linked with ID. We haven't performed any kind of ID, and we have when well, uh, joins any transformation and all. So by default, click view uh, will connect the tables uh, with the help of the same field name if two tables are having same field name then it will connect and it will form a relation between these two tables right so this is what called as association okay right now let's see how the joins will work so the resultant of a join is a single table right so let's make a simple join so in this case we have one three five and table a, a table one and one five in table two let's reload it then we'll see what is the resultant table okay for that control t and then go to preview and see there you can see one three five means what kind of join is this we have all the records of A and as well as B, right? So, what kind of join? This is outer join. So, the default join in click view is outer join. Let's make inner join. So, how the inner join will work? Normally in SQL, the same way here also the inner join will work. 
so inner join is common rows of the id will be fetched and prepare the table so let's reload it then we'll see we have one and five in common if we go to table preview right click on the table and go to preview then you can see because so the table preview will show the first hundred records in our case we don't have those many records so it will visualize so one and five so if we go to the data then we can see the one and five or two records that are in common in both table ids right remember when you're performing joins there should be a single column in common or else it will perform a cross join okay then how about left join so the left join is all left and the common values that are there with right so in this case let's add another one two and ccc now left join remove all the keywords in click view or into blue color and you're working with the script editor we'll turn it to blue color let's reload it now we have performed so all the left means one three five and the common in right one and five so this is how the left join will work go to right join so how the right join will work so all the values that are in the right table and the common values which are there in the left table so now in early days of scripting we have uh, learned like the click view script will execute from top to bottom right so in this case the top one is treated as left and the bottom one treated as right table because if we have multiple tabs in the script editor the leftmost tab is the first executable so in that sense whatever we are executing i mean whatever we are encountering first that will be treated as a left one so here table one is the left and table two is a right one <coughs> sorry so in this case so all the right and the common in left so one two five and we can see one and five the three will miss in the resultant table let's go to tabular view and see the preview so we can see so all all the rows that are there in the right table and the common values from the left table so this is how the joins will work right so here we have to keep a point in mind the result of a join is a single table right let's think about cross join assume i don't have anything common in between these two. let's make it seven and this one as six and let's do the join control t now you can see the cross right this is what about joins and now let's look at transformations what are the transformations we can do in click view so click view supports multiple types of transformations whether you want to change the data type of what of a particular field into another field or else you want to extract some data and do transformations on it so it is also possible so let's create a simple table with two records load star in line then product and sales e1 comma 120 
point nine P two comma one thirty point two P four comma thirty four point six. So these are the products and the sales of those products. Let's reload the data. Check how the data is being loaded. Now, in my case, what I want is I want absolute numbers. So I want to round these numbers and I need to get the values. How to do that? So I need to transform this. I have to apply some data transformations on top of the existing data. Now, in this case, the data is already existed in the RAM. Once we have reloaded the data, it will be fetched into RAM. So how to do um, how to reload the data again? So you don't have to create the table again. So for this, whatever the data is existed in the RAM to fetch that. So ClickWay has a special loading mechanism that is called resident load. So in this case, what we have to do is load star let's load product and round we can use the round function is it it is available in click view and then let's give only single parameter make it as sales so it won't take because we have to rename the field name as we can specify the same field name which is there in the operation or else we can specify anything so let's make sales value okay then resident and the table name of the existing uh, table okay and now let's reload it <coughs> control t there we can see the sales value table here if you go there you can find the rounded numbers so this is how we can perform the transformations on the data there are number of uh, ways to do transformations in clickview and uh, there are n number of functions that are uh, available in clickview to do the transformations okay so this is what regarding the data transformations let's switch to cross table so clickview is in good in handling the row type data let's assume i have my sales data monthly sales data in a column format insert load statement load inline to generate the table i mean inline table so here product and i have march Two thousand seventeen. Sorry, so March two thousand seventeen. April two thousand seventeen. May two thousand seventeen. So three months data so this these are the my products p1 p2 p3 p4 and i have their sales month year wise three two five six seven Right, my, this is my data set. So here we have data in column format. Now assume in my case I want to perform or else I want to see total sales data. So how can we do that? Let's go to chart creation, create a chart and take a stride table. We'll get stride table in detail in the upcoming sessions. Go to select the product as dimension because I want to total sales of that. So sum of 
I have March data, so March 2017 plus sum of April 2017 plus sum of May 2017. This is how we can get sales, total sales data. But is this the right way? Assume that we have n number of columns. So in that case, we have to write n number of pluses. So this is not a good approach. So what to do in that case? So in that case, what we can do is arrange the items in a proper order. So let's treat this as table one. Right. And now let's load the data. Load product okay this is my first column so while you are doing cross table you are handling the cross table first you have to write all the dimensions which are to be as dimensions so if you want to convert any dimension to attribute in that case you have to put them in the last positions so in my case i want to have this april may 2017 as data right so what to do now so i want to convert this ta cross table into normal table so for that cross cross table and you need to specify the resultant table i mean resultant field name where these values are i mean where these attributes are going to be so in this case i say month year and then so under this attributes we have values currently so these are currently norm i mean uh, columns once these at i mean column names are considered as data or else attributes of a field in i mean uh, where the data should be resides for that we have to say when we have to give a resultant uh, field name sales right and how many fields you want to skip means so what are all the fields that you want you don't want to do uh, apply cross table so in my case i have only one dimension if you have two dimensions you have to apply two dimensions i mean value two so in this case it's only one right and then do the rest of load So here we have values with spaces. So you have to put them under, I mean, we will put them uh, within uh, square braces, right? Now it looks perfect. If I try to type, then it will uh, sense the intentions and then produce i mean pro, uh, provide the value so now i'm going to do resident load from table one right let's reload so what are we expecting now so our table will be converted into normal table that's what our expectation is so let us see so now the column names were converted into a value of a field let's perform the sum of sales let's look at how easy that is go to new sheet object create a chart and select this right table then press on next then add dimension product then go to next and type sum of sales so you're going to write only one Field. So this is how we can work with cross table. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe.